This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Good afternoon and welcome to our first edition of MCTV Weekday Update for the fall semester. I'm Laura Duclos. And I'm Courtney Plunk. Texas Tech's new school year started with heartbreak. Seven students were lost to accidents right around the start of classes. With that in mind, reporter DeWitt Halle introduces us to Tech's crisis counseling for students. Rain clouds aren't the only thing to bring darkness over Texas Tech. The past several weeks, seven students have died, leaving students to mourn their loss. Here at the Student Wellness Center, our professional is ready to help those students. Lisa Viator, Director of Clinical Services at the Student Counseling Center, understands dealing with the recent tragedies is difficult. Goodbyes are, are, are really important, and when there's like an abrupt you know, cutoff, um, that can, be, that can be very troubling and, and sad for people. For students that need someone to talk to, the Student Counseling Center is open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 with walk-in clinic hours from 1230 to 3.30. So they come in, say, you know, 12.30, whenever is most convenient for them during the walk-in clinic hours. They fill out some electronic paperwork on an iPad and then they will meet with a counselor that same day for 30 minutes to discuss their concerns and you know, to kind of assess where things stand with them. And then from there, you know, we get them assigned to either individual therapist or maybe in group therapy, or we might make a referral to the Mind Spa or you know, something like that. Sophomore electronic media major Jackson Burris lost his friend Ryan Murphy. Ryan and his sister Kylie Murphy lost their lives in a car crash as they headed back home to Austin. But Jackson has found his own way to cope. I just got with people who were really close with him that were a lot, having it a lot rougher than me. And I just, you know, kind of reminisced with them about good times with Ryan. Burr says the counseling center is not for him. However, he is glad it's there because everyone deals with grief differently. For those who can't just deal with it on their own, that's probably a real good asset to have where they can go and they can talk to somebody that's not necessarily like close to them and just vent basically or whatever. So remember, there's always someone to help. From MCTV, I'm Dowie Tyler. This is Service Week on and around the Texas Tech campus where students do their part to help out neighbors. RHA and TAB have coordinated different events around the Hub City. Today, volunteers were out at Tent City helping to clean up and organize Lubbock's homeless shelter. Tomorrow, folks will help fix and serve dinner at the Ronald McDonald House. They still need volunteers for Thursday's Meals on Wheels from 10 to noon, and Friday, workers will help out at the Haven Animal Shelter. Look for the Residence Hall Association, TTURHA, on Facebook to learn more and register. The Battle of the Residence Hall's Blood Drive kicked off yesterday and continues every day this week. You can donate at the sub in the Red Raider Lounge Room from 11 to 5 today through Friday. Walk-ins are welcome and every donor gets a free t-shirt. The start of the fall semester also means new events hosted by the Tech Activities Board. Carly Smith reports from the first event that really had students hop in. The Texas Tech Activities Board kicked off their year of events here at Adrenaline City, located at the Body Works on 4th and Slide. At Adrenaline City, as you can see, they have trampolines where you can flip and play dodgeball, and they also have laser tag and a ropes course. Programs coordinator Annie Mangold talks about why they host this event. It really sets the pace for the entire semester, so a lot of energy, and we get to have a lot of people here, 300, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit, so everybody just comes out, and I mean, they're all really enjoying it. Brie Longclose said her friend invited her to come on Facebook, and she thought it would be something different to do. It's like really good exercise and stuff, and it's not like general, like sitting down and watching a movie, so it was nice, it was free, first of all, and I like the exercise and stuff like that. Adrenaline City has always been very kind to us, Body Works, they've been so helpful, so I mean, it's just something we've done forever, and we're always going to do it. Adrenaline City is what sets Body Works apart from other gyms. Bree said her favorite activity is the trampolines. It's because it reminds me of my childhood, so I really like that the best. Students can also play dodgeball on the trampolines, putting a new twist to the classic childhood game. If you missed out on this event, Annie said Tab will host more events throughout the year, but is especially excited about a couple. 
Well, I know I'm personally looking forward to corn maze. Every single year we do it. Um, we take buses out to Adeldew Farms, and every year it's a different theme, so that part's extremely exciting. And my pride and joy of it is murder mystery dinner. So students can come out and enjoy a murder mystery play while they, pick, while they eat um, a three-course meal. All tab events are free with your Texas Tech student ID. I think it's really great for Texas Tech students because things are expensive and it's nice to have like a Friday night that's free and don't have to pay for. So I like them. Yeah. If this event looks fun to you, you can check out more events at the TAB website. For MCTV, I'm Carly Smith. Some students found a few surprises at the farmer's market this weekend. Reporter Randy Lee Thomas reports from the market. Every Saturday since June, something special has been going on down in the Depot District. And what might that be? It's the Lubbock Downtown Farmer's Market. This is our first time. Yeah, this coming is my here. second time. Oh. Ashley Davis and Amelia Lewis gave lots of reasons why they prefer to shop at the Farmer's Market over the grocery store. Because I know it's not full of hormones or, you know, antibiotics or any of that, and it's just locally grown, and I want to support the local farmers. I like, it's just a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, also. that too. Um, I just bought, like, a whole bag of stuff that at Market Street, it would have been, like, $15, and here it was 2 <laughs> Wes Gaddy, one of the market's main volunteers, let MCTV know how he helps things run smoothly. It's just helping them run their booth where they sell reusable bags and all the money goes back into the market and then getting people to sign up for the email update list so they know what vendors will be here and what they're selling. We have uh, several booths. We have Holy Cow Beef, we have Juicy Lucy's Veggies, uh, Yoga Bean is out here selling some coffee and some root beer. Uh, there are some other folks, I'm not sure exactly all, who all we have. It's kind of us. The weather has made it a little, little difficult. But. There's only a few weekends left to check out the Lubbock Downtown Farmers Market here outside of Tornado Gallery. For MCTV, I'm Randy Lee Thomas. It has been raining a lot here in Lubbock lately, but are sunny skies here to stay? Let's take a look at today's weather forecast. It's pretty sunny today, but we have a chance of thunderstorms throughout the week. This afternoon, we had a high in the lower 80s with a low of 64 tonight. Temperatures will stay about the same for tomorrow with a high of 80 and a low of 61, but by Thursday, temperatures will drop with a low of 56. Well, more rain means more flooding for the South Plains. It sure does, and flooding <laughs> caused some real problems in Lubbock over the last week. Reporter Barbara Garcia took a look at the flooding conditions around campus. For most, a rainy day simply means an adjustment in wardrobe, such as the addition of a raincoat or umbrella. Worst case scenario being a day of indoor activities. But for those who live within the Lubbock city limits, the inconvenience is much more than that. Lubbock County receives an average rainfall of 19 inches each year. Given that the statewide average is 36 inches and Lubbock's reputation for the dry and dusty climate, you would think that the rain would be celebrated when it does blow in. Texas Tech graduate student Benjamin Jarvis agrees that when the sky changes to gray, he changes his agenda for the day. The rain in Lubbock is always a lot of fun because it's raining and things get green, but it's the biggest inconvenience I have ever dealt with. The drainage criteria manual and the master drainage plan are two developments by the city of Lubbock proposed in 1997 in order to control the flooding. In visiting the city of Lubbock's website, mylubbock.us, information can be obtained on the general guidelines, design, parameters, and other considerations that have been implemented by these procedures. Because there's just no drainage anywhere, and not only an hour ago where this was up on the sidewalk. Existing within the city of Lubbock, the Department of Stormwater Management is committed to improving the conditions and preserving the safety of our tributaries and Playa Lakes. The mission of the Storm Management Department includes educating developers and contractors as they are building and expanding within the city. They also work to ensure that existing systems, as ineffective as they may be, remain safe and that our Playa Lakes continue to be pollutant free. Yeah, I, th I think everyone's concerned for their car when it starts flooding in Lubbock. Um, not everyone has a large truck and if you have a smaller car, it's really hard for you to get around. But just a few days ago when it was raining, I was driving back from the wreck and um, over, over by the stoplight intersection by the Health Science Center, I went through the intersection and I didn't think I was gonna make it through. 
Uh, my car started wobbling, started kind of floating off in its own direction, but thankfully my tires hit the ground and I was able to get out of there. But the drainage system in Lubbock is pretty bad. The City of Lubbock recognizes an outstanding need for an improved water drainage system. Information regarding the Stormwater Management Department can be found online at mylubbock.us, where it is also stated that the best way for Lubbock residents to get involved is by complaint reporting. This is Barbara Garcia, reporting from the College of Media and Communication. That's all for today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check out ttuhub.net every day for more news. We'll see you tomorrow.